name's Liam, technical manager here at Aprima, otherwise known as Yamanak, and welcome to our latest technical video. As always, this video is powered by Seagate, and we thank for their continued support. This week, we're going to be covering the Ajax Grade 2 wireless intruder alarm system. I know some of you guys have seen a very similar product on the marketplace recently, but I'll show you where this differs and is much better in comparison. First and foremost, in addition to showing you the product today, I'm going to be giving away one of these kits. And this kit contains the hub, external siren, internal siren, two detectors, a door contact, and also two wireless arming units. That is available for you guys. If you'd like to win the chance of winning that, you need to comment Ajax in the comments below, and we'll do a draw, and we'll pick one of you guys, and we'll send that on its way to you, and you can have a play for it yourself. If you don't win it, don't worry about it. We do have an option to buy a demo kit. Uh, it's one per company. We can do limited numbers, uh, and they're about £99 each. If you'd like any information, please contact one of my colleagues at the Prima or myself, and we'll put you in the right path. So we've covered a few things now. I'll show you, show you the hub itself. All the products are available in white or black, um, which is excellent. The only problem that is the only product that's not available in black is the external uh, motion detector. And the reason being is it could get overly hot being in a garden or some direct sunlight. So this, it does only come in white for that particular product. Anyway, I digress. So the panel here I'm going through today is the hub two. This unit, oh, let me just put the back off here. As you can see, this unit here, it has uh, your power for your 240, your network cable and an option there for yeah there was right one for two sim cards so it has the ability for this one has ethernet wi-fi dual sim uh with a backup battery of 16 hours so that, as you can see that is well within your right uh, grade two uh compliance in addition to that, it is EM50131 with Grade 2. Um, they do have PD Travel 6.2, which will be coming in very, very soon. I've been told roughly 30 to 60 days. Um, Sam from uh, Ajax passed me that information. If you'd like any more further information on that, please feel free to contact Sam. I'll put his information details in the, in the bio below. So the unit itself, again, comes in black or white. I have a range of products in front of me here. I'm going to show you one at a time. But there are so many of them, but we'll do, I'll show you the full product listing. I'll get the magic of the marketing team to drop it, boom, on the screen. There they all are. And then we'll go through one at a time in a second. Okay, so one of the things I will show you first and foremost is the external siren. So the external siren, this is generic siren, again comes in this silver whitey colour or it comes in black. Um, unit is fully battery operated or you do have the option to do a 12 volt direct to the unit itself adding these to your device is absolutely so simple it's unbelievable you guys have been doing intro alarms for years you'll find it so easy to do and i'll cover that in a second when we get to the alarm this uh detector this this sorry this detector this siren itself does have a tilt sensor in it so if it is removed from a property or when it's sighted it will go into alarm and it will alert you via the push notification so that was the the, the traditional um external siren or street siren but these are what they call the double deck and what these units are as you can see i'm in black on white these units are a protruded front which can be uh screen printed with your own company logo on it so you can have your company logo phone number email address as per your traditional bell boxes as you can see it looks like snazzy with the prima logo on there uh, they have multiple devices, things such as, I'll be dropping in and out so I'm just grabbing the devices. So we have the door contacts or door protects. Another great thing is on the back of each of these products, it gives you more information. So as you can see on here, I don't know if you can see it backwards, so battery life up to seven years. So these products will have extraordinary battery lives on them. Uh, the generic detectors roughly about five years and door contacts up to seven years. The arming fobs are again up to five years. Well, obviously it depends how much they are used, but up to seven years from a wireless device is, is unreal. It's groundbreaking. Some of the other manufacturers lucky to get two. Um, as you can see, these come in black or white. Very snazzy looking devices. Uh, we have the, the sirens, internal sounders, as you said, again, in black or white. They also have the fire detection devices, so they do these devices here, again, in black or white. Um, so this one here is the uh, <coughs> fire detect, and they also do a fire detect plus. So this one is temperature and heat, um, and they also do the, the plus version, which has a um, carbon monoxide sensor built in as well. So can, the applications are endless for this particular product. Uh, you have the remote army fobs, again, comes in white. Um, I do actually have this alarm fitted on my own property, just to show you these are my keys, 
so it comes in black or white. I've had this fitted on my own house for 12 months at least, no one problem on it, and also one of my colleagues, Ross Hawkins, he's had it fitted and he absolutely loves this. So simple, so easy to use. It's been designed for the end user, so they're not scared of the alarm system. It's, people have alarms fitted, um, they have fobs, but they don't really know how to use the alarm system, but this is very intuitive, you can use the app, it tells you everything you need to know, um, and it's just really interactive. Uh, they have things like water leak sensors, so these can be linked up. Like I said, I'll show you how to connect these devices. It's so, so simple, really easy, and it's was very well thought through. Uh, but one of the things I will be showing you today um, is this, which is the motion detect camera. So this particular camera uh, will take a snapshot, three snapshots, uh, as per the resolution you set on configuration, and that will send a notification to your mobile device, uh, and it will give you an alert. There's no, you can't dial in from an app, to view live videos it's all done with closed circuits and no one can dial in it can't be hacked it's purely one way send a snapshot to your mobile device so you can view the event that's actually happened what a clever bit of kit and i'll show you set up in a second with a hub too and just for reference there you go there is a generic black detector so suited for every single application you cannot go wrong there's tons and tons of products they go uh, come to the marketplace some new things which are really really exciting um, which we will show you in future videos so i'm just going to get set up now um, i'll show you the app i'll show you how easy to, to create the site to add the devices and things like the push notifications and and how it works on there give me two seconds and i'll be with you in a second so i'm just going to the ajax pro app which is uh, what you guys would need as an installer uh, to set up the devices you do also have a desktop option um, which you can download from ajax's website um, I'm just going to show you through the set, that's how easy it is to add one of these devices to your phone. So what you need to do is the top right hand corner, there's the plus symbol. If you hit that and give the device a name, so as it's an Almanac video, we'll call it Almanac. Um, and then you have the registration key. The registration key is hidden just under the, uh, the tamper lid. Uh, but what you're going to have to do is hit the QR code and then you can just literally scan the QR code and it automatically adds that for you. And then press OK, as you can see that goes online almost instantly. As you can see, I do have one alert on the site. If I click that and go in, there's my virtual fob, and I'll show you some of the benefits of that shortly. So the device itself, I click and go to the main tab. As you can see, it's saying uh, connection online. My battery is 100%. As I said earlier, this device has up to 16 hours backup, and the lid is open. So all I'm going to do is going to pop the lid back on for you now. So if you can hear me clicking that back in, as you can see, that uh, alert was almost instant. Um, and as you can see, all the other relevant information there, the external power is connected, how much decibel noise is coming from the unit, cellular data is disabled because I currently don't have any SIM cards in there, uh, and Ethernet is currently connected. I can go further with my diagnostics, I can just click the little cog symbol on the top right hand side, and again I can rename it after, after I finish with it if I needed to, just click the little pencil symbol, or I can add my own photo if I needed to, instead of the generic Ajax. Uh, there's my users there. As you can see, I currently don't have any users set up, but all I would have to do to add a user is click there, and I would send an email, and I can add up to 50 users for this particular hub. Uh, the benefit of this particular hub, you can have 50 users, uh, 50 rooms, nine security groups, uh, up to five Rexes, which are uh, basically wireless expanders, and it can have up to 32 scenarios. Uh, one of the key features of this device itself as well is you can have up to 25 cameras installed. Um, so uh, other manufacturers I know can only have up to four, which is quite limited. Um, but even more so, the Hub Plus itself, which is an additional uh, unit from Ajax, can actually have up to 50 cameras, which is e exceptional. Um, as you can see, there's Ethernet. As you can see, there's an IP address on the local network. Cellular is obviously off. And then Geofence. Uh, I currently have this enabled. I was does it does give you the option to remind you to arm when you're leaving the site. So if the site's not armed and it sees you driving away, you can actually say uh, you're leaving site, do you want to arm now? And in the same instance, if you're driving towards site or whatever it may be, it can actually say to you, you're returning towards site, do you want to disarm? Another great thing about this is if you have a smartwatch, I'm, I'm using an Apple watch, you can actually arm disarm the all from your smartwatch. Really, really simple, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. And I'm also going to show you a nice little feature with the um, virtual fob, which I saw which you saw earlier, and uh, which uses this geofence uh, technology. Uh, you can have groups. You can create your groups. Um, add a group in there. You can sign photos. Create a group name. Uh, so you can put multiple devices in there. Your security schedule. You can add your scenarios. So what you can do is uh, you can 
either to auto arm itself if you're in the place of a vulnerable person you have the option for creating auto arm um, so we can do that for you all through there uh, loads and loads of other functionality the jeweler so this is the jeweler setting so the jeweler is patented by um ajax itself um as these devices can go to 2000 meters um plus with addition with the records itself can go even further so it's great you can cover multiple installations uh and the monitor station so the monitor station one of the great features uh with ajax they are partnered with csl um, and they're ahead of the game when it comes to the monitoring side of it. They are linked with things like G4S, Southern Northern Monitoring, Fenex, quite a few others. And I'm pretty sure Arc in Bristol um, are also looking to integrate the Ajax into their platform, which is which is a great uh, addition to it. Um, and which is qu one thing I do find quite nice is each of the devices you add at the bottom, there is a user guide. So what you can do, if you're unsure of what you're doing or you've forgotten and you just need a quick reminder, you can actually click the user guide. As you can see, you can scroll through and it'll give you step-by-step uh, -step instructions of actually what is what, what goes where, and how it's done. So it's really, really simple. And you guys who've been installing it for years will find this a, uh, a great bit of kit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add a device. Uh, the next device I'm going to add into this unit itself is going to be the uh, motion camera that I showed you earlier. So just going to click into this in one second. So all I do is click Add Device. Go to um, Add Camera. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not a camera. What am I doing here? Add device. Click add device, give it a name, and we'll call it motion cam. Again, scan the QR code. There you go. And it'll ask me to create the room. And obviously we created the demo room because that's what we're using. Press OK. All I need to do, set the device. As you can see, the motion cam is now online. That is how quick, that is how simple it is to add these devices. If I click in my motion cam, as you can see there, it gives me all my settings for my motion cam. Um, as you can see, it gives me the signal strength, the connection, uh, it'll give me the wing strength and everything that's accordingly. The camera's online, uh, the lid, all that will come through in a second. Just let it uh, refresh. Uh, if I need to change any of the settings, I can do that. Click the cog, exactly the same as, uh, as using the hub itself. As you can see, you can create a delay when entering and leaving for your exit and entry routes you can have delays in night mode you can have sensitivity and image resolution so you can change sensitivity um, as per the installation and also change the image to give you slightly better quality images um, and also how many images it'll send you in any one time so the higher the image actually less photos but the more the lower quality it'll actually send you more um i can send you all the information there and if you scroll down you can do uh, testing and again just as i said you've got a user guide built in as well and the great feature of this is if you're having some work done or you're having something done temporarily, you do have the option to temporarily deactivate. So that just temporarily removes a device from the system so it doesn't cause you any grief if you're having things like um, redecoration or whatever maybe that doesn't cause you any harm. So as you can see now, it's showing that the room temperature here is 21 degrees. This is another nice little feature. And the lid is open. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check the lid back on this device. Get a few seconds to update yourself. As you can see there, the lid is now closed. That is how quick and instant these devices work. It's so quick, so simple, and so easy to add these devices. Um, I'm also now going to add a um, an army fob. So this fob itself can actually disarm for up to a thousand meters from the device. Go back, go to add device. Again, go to add device. Give it a name. Just call it fob. Device ID. Let me just scan. And again, in our room, it says tells you what to do there. So it says, please push system arming button and the panic button all together. There you go. That is how quick it is to add these devices. So simple, but so effective. I can add multiple devices on you and keep adding as much as I like. So you do have the option for, for um, keypads. Uh, so instead of just using fobs, you do have the option to add a key fob, a keypad, sorry. And again, that does come in black or white. Um, all these images are available on our website or via Ajax themselves. Um, I'll, next thing I'll add to you, I'll just add a door contact on for you. I'll show you how that works. <coughs> As you can see, maybe do some testing. It's gone into night mode. Let me just turn that off. Disarm that. As you can see there, I've got a full list of everything that's actually happened to this device. So if I go back into my uh, settings there, as you can see, the site is now currently de-armed. I'm going to add a door contact. So just go to add device, 
I don't know the device. Do you have a name? It's quite but it would have like a spell. Front door. Scan the QR code once more. And again, it's another demo. That's okay. Which isn't mean accurate, let me just pop it out of the box before ready to go. Oh pat fingers. All I need to do is just set this off. Turn the device on. As you can see, once again, that is now added. Gives me my signal strength and all the relevant information. Uh, this device as well, this is a Door Detect Plus. So it has a uh, 2000 meter range, but in addition to having to be in a door contact, it does have a tilt and shock sensor built in. Uh, so you could fit this to a Velux window, for instance. So traditionally, if you had a uh, contact on a window, if you had our window open um, in a traditional intruder alarm scenario, is you'd either have to omit the zone or not set your, your system. What you can do is you can deviate to this. You can say, set the system with this device, but if it does deviate within so much of a degree, then go into full alarm, which is an excellent addition to this kit. It does also have the option you can wire you could buy a roller shutter contacts or whatever into so it does have a little fly lead for a normally open or normally closed detector also as you can see it's saying the lid is open let me just close that lid uh, if i go back to the main page there if i actually look there's a little door symbol uh, onto the right hand side if i actually put the magnet next to the device give a second as you can see it's now that showing as the door is now closed. So if you did have a problem setting the alarm and you had a particular device that was giving you issues, you could look quite quickly in there and you would see with issues. I've just opened that again, as you can see, that's gone open. And again, that's gone closed. That is how quickly these work so well. Really, really good bit of kit. So what I'm gonna do here now as well, I'm gonna go show you some of these settings. So again, into the door, as you can see, you can flick these quite nice and funky. I added a black device this time, just so you can see what it looks like in the app. Again, temperature settings, connection, the battery, uh, the lid. Again, entrance, exit times, primary detector, uh, which is obviously the, the door contact. As you can see, I've just changed the state for you to see. Always active, yes or no. So even if the alarm is set or unset, you'd have the ability to have it active. And the shock sensor's off, and also the tilt sensor. But I can adjust that accordingly. I just go into the settings there and turn on exactly what I want on for when I want it on. Um, so as you can see, it's all very, very simple, very, very straightforward uh, and explained very, very easily in there for you. Um, you can have an armed night mode. Again, you can change the entrance exit times. It's all very, very easy to use. Um, some of the other devices you have here, you have the Combi Protect, which is another great device. In addition to having just a generic detector, the Combi uh, Detect has a brake glass sensor built in. So in some instances, again, you could have the system could be unset, but you could have the brake glass uh, armed at all times, so if you had to set up at your doors or a conservatory on a property, if some if glass did break, it was still generating an alarm if, if the alarm was not set, unlike other devices. So I'll add a device now just to show you guys. Add device, click again, I'm gonna call it combi, and we'll add to the demo room because that's where we're working. Then scan the QR code. Give you seconds. There you go added it really is that simple you can set one of these systems up in absolutely no time at all um the devices you can add i said they, they, they're tons they do the space control which is the arm and fob uh, the keypad which uh, i'll show you guys later they do what uh, really interfaces they do motion protect which is for outdoors curtain detectors the motion cam motion cam uh, motion protect motion protect plus the combi so literally there's a device for every single application and again i'll put a full list of the devices at the end of this video so you can see what's available or you can contact myself or any of the team at ajax as you can see every time i do something it is listed in the log so you can quite basically see what is happening so i go into this combi device give you seconds for it to fully update yourself they do communicate uh, very very quickly um one of the benefits of this as well it does have a uh rolling transmission so if one of the frequencies does get blocked it will jump to another frequency just to give you the best uh, intruder alarm setup that you can physically have and it will alert you if there are any problems so if you do lose full um, a device it will actually alert you almost instantly so again i'm just going to close the lid of this device i don't know if you're the click and as you can see 
that is now shown as the lid is closed. So simple, but so effective. Uh, these products are just unreal, to be totally honest with you. Uh, another key feature which you can add into here, um, you can, if I click add, you do have the option to add camera. So you have the option to add multiple devices in there. Um, we'll concentrate on the DAWA one because obviously it's our favourite. So if I want to add a DAWA device into here, it'd be quite simple. Just click DAWA, give it a name, device ID, the room, obviously, with the demo, and the username and password, that's your login credentials to view the CCTV system. Um, I haven't got one of them set up here at the moment, but what I can do, I'll just go back, back to the main page, go to my home, go to my devices. As you can see, there's a list of my devices there and also the CCTV. So I click the CCTV, give it a few seconds, depending on your signal strength, upload speed, and everything else that goes with it. There you can see there's a live feed from the CCTV cameras from my house right now. So you've got one app, but we involve your CCTV and your intruder devices. So really, really excellent bit of kit. Let's go back to the one we were using earlier. As you can see, there's my virtual fob. So if I wanted to arm the system, all I would have to do is hit that top left hand button. It says the uh, front door is open. I say I will check it. I will then go back, close my front door. Oh, didn't close it enough. Press again. As you can see, that says it is armed. Go into my log there, as you can see, unsuccessful attempt. If I hit that, it says my front door was open. So, you still, if you have a problem, it will alert you to tell you there's an issue. As you did see, it has the option to say arm anyway, so you have that option as well. But as you can see, the system is currently armed. Got my fob and press disarm. Uh, earlier on, I did say there's a benefit of using this. What you could do. Uh, utilize this feature it does have a panic button built in so the fob itself if you're on a pre uh, in your property and you have the physical fob if you press it it will cause the alarm to go off and you kick off your bell and your sound does and everything accordingly but one of the things about using the geolocator uh, we turned on earlier is in this virtual fob so this could be used in multiple scenarios such as a man down situation is you do have a virtual panic button so the bottom right hand button here if i press that as you can see it's counting down it says Almanac has pressed the panic button and I've had an alert at the bottom. If I go into that alert, as you can see, it's dropped a pin. Click the pin, and as you can see, it's dropped a pin to my exact location. So I can open a map, open Google Map, copy the coordinates, so that will be accurate to one meter of where I pressed that fob. So in this instance, my children have this, so if there ever is an issue outside the house, they can hit that panic button and I will know exactly where they are. So this is a is a great, great bit of kit to be added uh, and it's excellent and used in loads and loads of different scenarios. <coughs> Excuse me. So the motion cam, let me, show, guys, let me get this motion cam set up for you and I'll show you how this works. So I will arm the system again shortly and I will set this motion cam off so you can physically see how some of the video is pushed through. Okay, so now I've placed the detector. I'm gonna arm the sight. I just go into my remote fob, I'll press arm, give it a few seconds to arm, as you can see, very, very quickly it shows you uh, an alert saying the system is armed. Uh, give it a few seconds to settle, so it's got a delay time, and I will walk past the device itself. So as you can see, there's a list uh, of what has happened. As you can see, it's picked up motion already. Um, once the image goes blue, as you can see from below, for, for as I forgot to press record the first time. Uh, you can see once it's gone blue, it actually has a load of images for you. If I then go in to disarm the system, as you can see, it's just pumping loads of information through and it disarmed almost instantly. So the motion detect itself, give it a few seconds for it to pull the video feed through. Or I'll just show you the previous videos. As you can see, it's now gone. If I click there, as you can see, there's a snapshot of me walking past. I can go back. There's a snapshot of me walking through all the devices. So very, very quick, and you would be able to identify a person from that snapshot, uh, and is very, very, very effective. As you can see, the other images have gone through, as you can see, it's one of three. If I click that, that's the first. Then it has the two. So there's the two snapshots you can play, or you can do individual frames. Uh, again, there's the previous one I can do. As I said, I can do previous frames, or I can watch the video as a whole snippet. So there's the motion cam. Like I said, it does do three snapshots. You can change the resolution, obviously the lower the resolution, the poor quality image. 
as I said, it doesn't give you the option to be able to dial into the device itself. Um, it is a one-way system. Uh, it goes to the server and directs to yourself. Uh, there's no third party that can be involved. Nobody can review it. Once it's there, it's on your device, and that is it. It's not stored, saved anywhere other than on your device itself. Um, so this technology is really, really exceptional. Um, there are things other devices which I mentioned earlier, things such as water leak sensors. These are great for things uh, like the domestic marketplace where you can put them under your wash machines, dishwashers, outhouses, anywhere where you think you could possibly get any water ingress, you can use these devices. I, I do have company one of these in my own house and I had a flood with the washing machine and it was alerted within seconds and it is quite noisy when an alert goes off so you are made more than aware that there is an issue with a device. Okay, just to finally cover off what you covered here today. So the unit we've seen was the Hub 2. The Hub 2 was a 240 volt main power one. They do have an option for 12 volts. And that can be great for other applications such as construction sites, uh, boats, uh, even your van on your, on your driveway, you could use power via 12 volts and it can communicate via SIM only as we've discussed earlier. Um, they do have an extensive range of so 2,000 meters from hub to device uh, and in addition to that you do have the option for a Rex which obviously can extend your range by another 1,500 meters. You have the keypads and again all these are red available in white and black. The double deck print so in, in addition to the generic uh, street sounder you do have the one that can be printable with your company logo. Uh, another great device that they have is the double push panic button so reduce false alarms you actually need a double press to confirm the panic and that can be doubled up as a control button as well for arm um, and disarm functionality. So they really do have a product to cover all applications. And once again, I do thank you for your time. Uh, I know it can't be easy to listen to my daughter's tones. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you and also Seagate for the continued support. Uh, our next video will be regarding the Dawa Tioc. And again, don't forget, for the chance to win one of these kits, please comment, comment Ajax and we'll do a draw next time. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all next time. If you need anything, please drop me a line uh, uh, on Almanac at a premium of UK or give me a call if you have the office number 02920 641 509 option 2. Thank you very much. See you all again soon.